What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Ocean Oco, this time with episode 9. Really excited for today's episode. I'm hoping we get a second season to this uh, kind of sooner rather than later. It has been massively popular. I think the uh, opening song is number one on the Billboard charts right now as well. So uh, definitely expecting a new season um, again, hopefully hopefully in the kind of uh, next year. Um, I'm again hoping for not too long a wait. Sometimes there's like a three, four year uh, wait for some anime, isn't there? But last episode was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed the look into Aqua's kind of mindset and um, like having kind of 50 years experience on this world, um, hearing his stance and his dating now being in the kind of body of a um, of a kid. Um, don't get me wrong, he's, he's a new character and he's a new guy, but he's He's still got all that experience behind him, as we've uh, seen plenty of times throughout the uh, throughout the series, and him kind of question that plenty of times throughout the series as well. Again, something I especially enjoy about this show. Something I like about Michelle Kotense as well, kind of dealing with uh, that kind of past self and trying to move on from uh, some of the things that maybe they kind of uh, resented in their past life. But um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Uh, liked uh, liked the Kane as well. Last episode, she was great. Mem seems to be joining Bikamachi. I did originally think it might be a Kane, but um, I think someone did point out she is uh, Mem is in the opening, but I didn't uh, didn't quite catch that. But um, again, looking forward to seeing what we got today. Let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into the video guys and another person last week try and tell me that aqua is not a an adult a 50 year old man i mean he's not in body he's not in in mind in a way he's not but essentially like i said he's had 50 years experience on this earth you don't just lose that <laughs> we've seen plenty of times him question himself and morality and and it's just in general the situation again no being smarter smarter and doing more than a kind of average teenager would i mean we saw him bloody talking as a kid for god's sake i mean that argument just does not sound with me <laughs> what would be the point in a reincarnation show if it's just a completely new person reincarnated it would would you not just start the show with that that person makes no sense to me not sure how you guys see things, but I can definitely see how people would think he's a completely different guy. But I think the main argument was that he's he remembers stuff from his past. I mean, would that not mean he's had that experience? Do we not all remember stuff from our past? <laughs> Again, I, I don't get it. As I said, with Mushoku Tensei, for example, is that show especially is about kind of rewriting his uh his past self and kind of overcoming a lot of the things he couldn't as a as an adult man this one's slightly different of course but it's along the same lines isn't it with the reincarnation but yeah does she even need to be a part of a of an idol group oh. I mean with the looks of Mem might genuinely be a real farm no this to Mem she's cute but um, she is quite animal looking <laughs> with those horns Quite anxious looking, isn't she? How old is this girl? Yeah, certainly is. But how old is she really? How old was she listed on the TV show? It was definitely like a teenager, right? Does it take this long to say a number? <laughs> Wait, just how old is she? At least 23. Which isn't old or anything. 
six. Okay, so yeah, she's like twenty-four. Oh yeah, that's not even old. I'm I'm one year older actually. So we're the same age. <laughs> but yeah, she does look very young. I think you do see this a lot. And it's kind of weird, isn't it, to be honest with you? Not in terms of the actual person de aging themselves, but the people that like that stuff personally. Like girls as young as possible, I find that I find that slightly weird. It's not right, not slightly weird, but just weird to be honest. But, um, it's it just speaks, doesn't it, that she does this and it's popular. It says quite a lot. So she's, she kind of is kind of reversing, just going back to where she left off, really. And you know what, again, I don't mind that at all. As we've seen plenty of times in this series, sometimes lies are good. And in, in life, sometimes lies are good. Sometimes you need to lie. We're the master liars in this family. <laughs> We're the master liars. We don't care one bit. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, a little bit pissed over that, hey. So yeah, they're they're, like, they're still pretending to be dating, aren't they? Aqua and uh, Akane. Mental. Yeah, this is the group. There was quite a few more members in the original group, wasn't there? But there were there was much more of a focus on just um, I, wasn't there? They were like, <laughs> it sounds a bit sad, but they were. We never really got to look at any of those characters, but they were all just there, just to almost show how much more kind of sparkly and and amazing I was. But this one's very different, isn't it? With all three of these members actually being quite prominent. Even though we haven't actually seen him even do anything yet. I mean, they've done a YouTube video to be fair, but other than that. Oh, shit. I don't know if that's true. Well, that's good to hear.
Probably. He was quite um, intense. Especially during that last episode. Oh dear. <laughs> and uh, as as we, in real life as well, a lot of girls are quite ad- attracted to maturity, aren't they? Older men. I might be a bit of a um, an older thing, perhaps, but that definitely was the case in my, my school and stuff. Fucking hell, they've tripled mine. <laughs> they've tripled mine in the done one video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not all of us. Okay, Memma's been a very, very good addition so far, hasn't she? She is very much perfect for this, I think. Again, we still don't really know. I haven't really heard these girls sing or anything. I guess that's the main job of them being an idol. We saw that the most from, uh, obviously we saw I do a lot of other things as well, but it was mainly singing, wasn't it? And we haven't even heard them sing once. I do wonder how that's going to turn out. I imagine Can is pretty good. I imagine I probably inherited quite a good voice as well. I say Can is probably going to be good because I think a lot of child actors and or people in the acting industry are genuinely pretty good at <laughs> I'm pretty good at that kind of performing, aren't they? Why do you think? Why do you think Aqua? Baking soda. Use t shirt. A reference to that bloody song. That was like a, a vine staple. I got bacon soda. They do say you should never meet your idols, and I think that holds very true, to be honest. You're bound to be disappointed. But still... Still kind of interrogating this guy, hey? Country bumpkin. La la la. Oh. 
Interesting. Some pretty damn good info. And what are the chances that a canny would be registered there as well? Pretty coincidental. Yes, that seems like a very good lead. Wow. Yeah, that and seems like you're pretty successful on that TV show, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Quite complex, really, isn't it? Bloody hell. How does he know about this? Huh. He's a sub. <laughs> Bruh, we're already doing a festival and I still haven't even heard these guys saying one song. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh yeah, why not? Let's Let's try things out. Bound to be nervous as hell, I imagine. I know how I'd feel. <laughs> Obviously, these are very different people. Can is used to. Well, everyone here but Ruby is quite used to this attention, to be fair. <laughs> exactly. If you do well or if you don't, either way, it's a kind of learning curve and it's a good experience, isn't it? That. Outfits? Ah. <laughs> That's pretty obvious from my perspective who would uh who I'd want to be in the center. Well, at least Can is not exactly dying to get that role. That's one person out of the race. Aren't you going to see this? <laughs> There's some copyright issues going on there. Beat that pan. That was pretty damn cute, wasn't it? But yeah, again, the obvious choice is Ruby here, isn't it? But looks wise, I'm um, it's hard because it should almost be Kana if you think about it. Got two blonde girls next to her, kind of ex extravagant guys. I'm not sure if that's a word. <laughs> her look, perhaps so. That's just purely on looks. Again, I think she'd actually be objectively maybe the best looking for the center role. If I got my way, it'd probably be Ruby. But, um, as Mem says, she is the most experienced, so.
It's quite sad, honestly, isn't it? Yeah, do a fucking hours. Yeah, she makes herself sound like she's a bit of trash on the, on the side of the road. And she's one of my favorite characters. This whole show, one of the most interesting characters in this whole show. Cynical is a good thing, I think. Not good to question everything. Maybe not everything, but not smart. Brings up a good point there. Although I feel I feel like maybe he just is very good at ascertaining what girls are good for the group rather than what girls he's into. <clears throat> Ah, um, there's quite a lot. Maybe she will be the center. As as I said, looks wise, it would make a lot of sense. Objectively, I think. Holy crap! <laughs> it's a fully produced song right here. Got really good voice as well again as expected like i said actors genuinely do generally do have a um pretty good uh singing voice holy crap it's a lot better than the pepper song <laughs> Really beautiful video as well, isn't it? Again, very different from the last one. You got a really nice voice. Okay, again, I think that might be decided. <laughs> Damn, 97. How do they score points on stuff like that? By like hitting the notes, I guess. Hitting a certain frequency. Again, I'm not really too understanding of karaoke. The, the most I've had is uh, Guitar Hero. <laughs> I tried a few karaoke on there, and I think I had like, this bar where it would like, go up and down. So I guess that was kind of pitch and tone, perhaps. Most time I was on the, uh, the actual guitar. But, um. Yeah, interesting episode. Like I said, I feel like objectively, like I did say, I kind of wanted Ruby. It would make sense for me. I, I wanted Ruby to be the center. Kind of makes sense. It's kind of her dream. She started this. She is the the daughter of I. But 
logistically and objectively, it probably would be best for Kana. As we saw there, even without knowing about her singing voice, it was brilliant. But she's probably the best singer, most experienced singer, most experienced under pressure, I imagine, as well. And the two, the having two blondes kind of extravagizing that kind of red kind of standout look. Red's my favorite color, by the way. Um, <laughs> extravagating that look would be uh, just makes a bit a bit sense, doesn't it? To, like I said earlier about I get kind of amplified by the by her group. Uh, Kana would do the same again, slightly different because there's only three members, but kind of emphasize that kind of. burst if that makes any sense to you guys but, um yeah really good episode today um nice to see the girls actually bonded nice to see us actually seeing them practice a little bit as well i did mention earlier um we haven't actually even heard the girls kind of sing or anything properly yet so it was a little bit scary that they're doing it a whole kind of um what's it called a whole kind of live show soon um we we did hear them sing a little bit there and they weren't awfully great <laughs> the two blondes were they uh ruby and mem uh but again kind was absolutely brilliant there at the end really love the video for that as well but um yeah nice seeing them uh nice seeing them all kind of bond uh, a bit of a shame about kana um again she's really kind of down right now but um hopefully she can kind of pick herself back up i think she's probably been through this plenty of times so i imagine she probably knows how to pick herself up pretty well by now but um yeah let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions uh we've got some more kind of uh um leads on uh on i's boyfriend i guess we call him um the father of uh of ruby and aqua so looking forward to seeing more of that um next episode and we've got two episodes left so i imagine we might end off with this kind of show which uh should be really hyped yeah thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day